The Sunbet Poker Tour 2024 starts right now. Vickers, Nico Vickers, very well done on your deep run into Monster Jam, uh, Mega Million, um, coming ninth. Two final tables in a row, uh, you must be exhausted. Yeah, last night was a late run, uh, didn't get much sleep. Uh, so back this morning, obviously wanted to go a lot further, but yeah, such is life. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing to see you and again, just cool, calm and collected at all stages. <laughs> what is your success in these tournaments and how do you do it? <laughs> Um, I just busted first on the final table, so it uh, sounds good to get final table, but obviously disappointed right now, so it's not feeling like a, like a massive success, but still a long series to go. So. Lots of poker still to come here with Nico Vickers. Nico, very well done. Thanks very much for your time, and uh, we'll be rooting for you for in the rest of the series. I'm standing with the eventual winner of the Mega Million, Rudolf Marine. Very well done. Tell us how you feel after that victory. Look, it was a grueling day. Uh, I think the final table was tough. It was a cream of uh, poker players in South Africa. And uh, you, uh, one had to be patient and I got lucky when it was needed to. Uh, but it's still fun, still a massive rush. Uh, it was great fun. Yeah, the photos are going to look awesome with you, the trophy, and uh, yeah, just continue your emotions from last night. Tell us how you're feeling after that. I mean, this is a long grind session. Yeah. Oh, how does it make you feel? Yeah, I was tipped leader last night uh, by a million, and it was so nice to just carry it through, because at one says I got very short, yeah, and I just got patience, and then it paid off. Well, I can tell you, us as commentators and surely the viewers out there, we absolutely love commenting on your poker. We we want to see you do well in every tournament. Good luck for the rest of the series. Thank you right. very much. Thanks. Welcome to Times Square, everyone. I'm standing here with Joan Costa. One of the Invitational 2 that's heading into the Businessman Invitational tonight. Joe, give us your thoughts on the event ahead of you. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. The, uh, it's always, it's sort of, uh, the format's taken from Triton. I think it's a very interesting format for the load of pros to have to fight it out for, uh, for a while. And then the Businessman get to have their fun and it should be, should be a lot of fun, I think. And uh, Costa coming all the way from Tanzania, thanks for joining us. Um, what is going to be your strategy going in as the technical underdog but the businessman going into this field? I think I'll be a bit uh, slow in the beginning, trying to feel everybody and see what is their strategy and try to counteract on their strategy. That's awesome stuff guys, enjoy it, good luck out there and we hope to see you on the feature table and final table for that matter. All right, I'm here with Daniel. Daniel, tell me a little bit about the Business Invitational going into this with Max Davison. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Max and myself have been chatting about it for a while. I mean, he did the last time with him. Um, we've got to know each other on the poker tables over the years, playing, playing hard against each other, and uh, it was a good fit. He's, I think, technically one of uh, South Africa's best, if not best, poker players. And yeah, I've, I've done well from it as well. So 
coming in as a businessman uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in this format. So I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Certainly found a form partner with some of his caches that he's had in these last couple of months. But you going in as a businessman, technically going in as an underdog um, to the pros, what's going to be your strategy navigating this field? Well, I mean, I played with him all for years and then one on the circuit. So, you know, I rate, I rate myself against most players. And yeah, I think I know how to, how to manage myself on the table when I'm playing against pros or, or businessmen. Yeah, so I always back myself. All right, we are here at Times Square just before the Businessman Invitational. We are at the awesome dinner party being hosted here on the pool deck. I'm here with Nick Sisu and Imran Banjani. Uh, let's start with Nick. Nick, uh, what made you select Imran as a partner? Imran and I go back a long way. We play together as well. We, uh, we sort of uh, got a good understanding. We, we play, I'd say, most of the time together, so we just built a great relationship and uh, I wouldn't have chosen anyone better, you know, we just understand each other and I think it's a good camaraderie trip. and some good energy between the two of us that I think could go through to the game and hopefully we'll let you know when you're cashing in at the end, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, Imran going in as the pro in this relationship. Uh, <laughs> the way he's been playing lately, it looks like I'm the pro and he's the business one. but anyway, carry on with your friends. So getting back to it, obviously there's a change of form here, which is fantastic to see. Good rivalry, even amongst the two partners. Imran, tell me what's going to be the strategy going into this one. Yeah, so looking at the structure of this tournament, it's quite deep. Um, and obviously, initially, we're going to be playing against tough opponents. Um, so we're going to have to basically take it very easy, not get out of line in, in the early stages of the tournament. Tournament is going to be super slow and, and it's going to be a very long grind. So yeah, the strategy should be not to get out of line and just wait to until the tables merge. And then when you start playing against recreational players, and then that's when obviously uh, we're going to start loosening up. Right, and uh, that's how we're going to sign off with this partnership. Hopefully see you guys at the feature table. Good luck, gentlemen, and we'll chat afterwards. Cheers. Thanks, gents. So we're down here at Times Square, standing about the Jimmy Carr Show, because we like to know that we are the better show on tonight. And I'm standing here with two pros going into the Business Invitational tonight. Clayton and Sugi. Sugi just coming off a final table. Gentlemen, what's the strategy going in tonight knowing that you've got pros tables versus businessmen tables and then you combine later on in the tournament? Just wait for pocket aces, right? That's all you've got to do is wait for pocket aces. Look, I mean, it should be fun. I mean, you're going to get in there. I think it's going to be some proper poker. Good quality of standard of poker that's going to be played. So really looking forward to that, actually. And it's deep stack and it's over two days. So what more than you, what more you want, yeah? And Sugi, same question to you. 100%. I mean, for me, obviously, it's the, the biggest buy-in tournament we've ever played. Uh, I think the gameplay is totally, totally different because no one's really going to flip to piss away 125k. So I think from that perspective, it's going to be a good, solid, solid gameplay. And it's, I see it's a nice deep stack tournament. You, you both just come off playing the Megas. Um, what will be the strategy once the two tables combine? Yeah, I think that is the that's the main strategy to probably get through the pro table and you want to get involved with the businessman on, on day two and uh, hopefully from there it opens up a bit more. Interesting to see what stage of the tournament is at then and then. But I think I think we're all playing just to get down to to get it merged, for sure. And uh, Sugi, your businessman finding you on form, what do you have to tell him to pump him up going into this one? Yeah, I think I might be playing as a businessman. So for my field, my field is going to be slightly different. I'm, I'm hoping to have a bit of an edge on, on my, my buddy here. He's a businessman, he didn't invite me. I didn't get an invite for him. <laughs> and there you have it. Yeah, there you have it, folks. Uh, I might need to push um, Clyton to come back into the commentary box with us at some other stage. Brilliant job. Good luck, gentlemen. Go smash it out there. Have a good one. Cheers. For now. Welcome to Times Square. I'm sitting with uh, Jamie Valeria and Moaz Ghani, uh, one of the combinations going into the Businessman Invitational. I'm going to start with Jamie. Jamie, Moaz is a partner. What are you expecting from him today? Nothing else but a win. Short and sweet, I love it. And uh, Moaz, um, going up against in this format, you're going to be playing businessmen separately to professionals and then combining later on. What will be your strategy getting through that? 
sure. Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it yet. I just got here. Um, if I think about it, I'll play very tight to start. Maybe open up a bit once I know what's going on. It will be tougher because I guess I'm going to have pros for the first six hours. And if I'm not mistaken, we're playing five or six handed. I guess the range widens and uh, luck becomes a big factor. And uh, getting back to Jamie, Jamie, we love seeing you on the league, but we also like to see you challenging some of the big dogs out there. Who's going to be your number one target on that businessman table? Well, one of them, obviously, is Rudolf. Uh, I think we can get quite a bit of chips out of him if you're lucky. Uh, he, he doesn't play tight. He's, he's uh, big range, big range. So we have to find the right cause at the right time. That's amazing stuff. Good luck to both of you gentlemen, and we hope to see you guys on the feature table for a little bit. Bye for now. Yeah, my <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing here with Marco Nook here. Uh, Marco, very deep run into the Mega. Uh, got into a position that uh, I'm going to let you explain it to us from there. I um, got into myself into a very good position. Uh, and then I know just ran a bit cold, you know, it happens. I ran very good in the middle of day two, so I, I can't really complain. To make the money is good. And it's a good cash at the end of the day, so I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah, you know, a little bit disappointing near the end there for you running into that big hand against uh, Sugin, I think it was. Um, tell us, what, it ta what does it take to run so deep in a tournament after having such a grueling session the day before? You know, you just have to like have a good night of sleep is very important, you know. Just, you just have to like mentally like be stable, like that helps a lot, a good shower, just wake up and be ready, you know. That's all you have to do. And um, tell me, you have a very similar philosophy to what I have, and that's to come and enjoy these events. How have you enjoyed Time Space so far? Well, I've made a lot of money, so that's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Time Space the most because I live like five minutes away, so this is like the best place to come. So I get to go home at night, and I don't have to stay in a hotel. Not that I mind a hotel, but for two weeks it just gets a bit much, you know. So yeah, yeah definitely enjoy this the most. Alright, we're here at the Sunbet Poker Tour Times Square. I'm standing with Caitlin Fox and Mark Joseph. Mark, tell us how you came up with this idea of an event. It wasn't really my idea, it's something that Triton does and it's like really cool and really excellent. The first time I saw Triton did a million pound entry uh, with the 50,000 pounds of that going to charity. So we thought we'd like to try and do something of that nature. Uh, we went to all the influential business players that we know that, that play around South Africa and we approached them and asked them how they, what they thought about this event. The pros didn't really matter to us, to be quite honest with you, uh, because they always want to play. But we asked the business owner what they felt like about just playing each other for the first 11 levels and they absolutely like, loved the idea. Uh, unfortunately, there's just not enough of them for this size buy-in, but uh, it will grow. Absolutely, I think it's going to go from strength to strength. Now, Caitlin, what goes in behind the scenes to getting this sort of an event right? I'll be honest with you, this this event tends to be Mark's speciality. Um, a lot of the bigger players he's, are the ones that he plays golf with, so <laughs> um, that's pretty much the easy way to get in there. Um, I deal mostly with the pros and like the VIP poker players, so um, I think the businessman side of it definitely goes to Mark, and then it's pretty easy for, for him and us to match them up with the pros that play all of our events and follow us around the country. So. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, and, and, but these are our VIPs, we love doing an event like this, it's so much fun, it's such it's such great poker for the stream as well, um, especially for the businessmen, because a lot of them love to play like these big buying events, but they don't necessarily want to play against the pros, um, so it's a really nice format for everyone. We're certainly looking forward to it, and certainly looking to commentate and see what we can do forward. Thanks very much for your time, we look forward to seeing you soon, just for now.